Hi, my name is Andy, and I am going to read you a book called Junie B. Jones at the Yucky Blocky Fruit Cake, Chapter 5. And today I got a haircut. It's very special. So I'm going to do very different. You can see my face. Chapter 5 Stupid Dumb Carnival Games. Carnival night was Friday after dinner. Daddy drove me and mother there there in the car. Only not baby Ollie, cause he is fuscust. That's why I bl- unblocked my seat belt and looked out my, the window. Hey, I said, look at all the lights on the playground. It looks like a real lot, a live carnival out there. I look harder. And guess what else? There's a clowns at this place. Only don't let them get near of me, okay? Because clowns are n- not normal, I think. Hey, there's my bestest friend named Lucille, I said. I hurried up out of the car. Lucille, hey Lucille, look, it's me, it's Junie B. Jones. I'm at Carnival Night. Me and Lucille run at each other. She had red hearts paint on her face. Look at me, Junie B. Look how beautiful I am, she said. I just got my face painted by Mrs. Hall, the art teacher. She perked her lips at me. And see my lips? My Nana put red lipstick on on them so they would match my hurt. Lucille's lips were shiny and slickish. I tried to touch the bottom one, but Lucille said, Don't smack me. The stem mother and daddy caught up with me. Daddy and had brought tickets for all carnival games. Ready to start it? She said, he said. Yes, I said, because I've been waiting for the, this exciting evening my whole enter carrier. I run and run till I found my most favorite game. Its name was Puffing the Gold Ball, Golf Ball. There was a long green carpet there. The carpet had a little hole with a flagpole in it. And also there was a man holding golf clubs. I ran up to it. Guess what? I'm going to win a prize at this thing, I said, because I've been practicing my pupping very hard. Good for you, said the man. Then he gave me a golf club and put a tiny white ball in front of me. It was the teeniest ball I ever saw. I look at the for a real long time, then I trap it on him. I mostly just pop grapefruit, I explained. The man did a frown. Hurry up, okay? There are other children waiting, he said. Yeah, only I can also use a dinner roll, I told him. Please, he grouched and just hit the ball. And so that's how I come felt pressure inside me. Then, and I swing the golf club away from her back and I hit a teeny ball very hard. It zoomed right up the green carpet. Then it fell on the air and bounces and bounces and people shouted the word out. I quick gave the man back his golf club. Then me and mother and daddy rushed out of there very fast. Mother looks upset. Why don't we try a game where she actually kills someone? She said. Hey, I know a game where I can't actually kill someone. I shouted. 
and its name is Close Pin in a Bottle. I run and run till I found a close pin, please. I said to the lady, Gifts. She gave me five of them. Then she told me all the subtraction. Dust hold the clothes pins and waist level and drop them one at a time into this milk bottle, she said. She put an empty milk bottle down at my feet. It had a little hole at the top where the drink powers out. Drop two clothespins in the bottle and you win a prize, she said. I started and started at the little hole. How come that hole is so little, do you think? I asked the lady. I don't know, she said. I just go ahead and start. I scratched my head. Yeah, only I don't even know how cows can skirt their milks into such a tiny thing. I said, the lady tapped her foot. There are other children waiting, she told me. And I looked up at her. Have you ever thought about using a bucket? I, I asked. Just go, she grouched. And so then I felt pressure inside me again. And I hurried to rob my clothespins into a tiny hole. Only even single one of them fell right on the floor. My eyes got tears in them. See, I said, I told you that them hole was too little. Just then a crown saw me being sad. And he grinned a giant smile smile at me. I hide behind mother's skirt. Don't let him get near of me, I told her. Only the crown run right over. And he painted his white face close to me. His teeth were big and yellowish. Back off, crown! I shouted. Then daddy closed his eyes and mother says, the word oh my. After that, she, me and mother had a little talk. It was called No Screaming Back Off Crown. Only I never even heard of that rules before. My nose got sniffy. Carnival night isn't being fun, I said, very sad. And so that's how come daddy brought me an ice cream cone. And mother brought me a red balloon. Only too bad for me, cause when she handed me string, my ice cream dropped on the ground, and my balloon string slipped out of my fingers. I bent my head back and watched my balloon float up to the sky. Then my eyes got more tears in them. And I said the word of poop. And that was the end of chapter 5. Bye! See ya! Bye!